Hi and welcome to Lit Film Fest Classrooms where we write together to make cool stuff. I'm Simon and you. I'm here with Tim. Simon and Tim, Simon and Tim show, Lit Film Fest Classrooms 2020. <laughs> so today we are going to be looking at poetry. What, what do you feel when you think about poetry, Tim? What's it good for? Uh, it's, it's very good for expressing. Uh, mm. So it's, I, th I think a lot of people find it quite hard to do, to be honest, because it's about being like, vulnerable and opening yourself. And mm. sometimes um, people think it's all like flowery, like flowery descriptions mm. of nature. But, but actually, it's, it's just an interesting way of like, looking at the world rather than it all having to be in that kind of mindset. Okay, so it, it doesn't have to be, you know, poetry, does it? It can be real. Poetry. It can just be can just be your story about something, but written in a kind of more uh, poetical way and, and lyrical way, descriptive way. Today's challenge is to uh, write a poem, but we're going to split this into three uh, different challenges. So uh, today we're going to be just starting thinking about our ideas. Tomorrow I'm going to help you with the writing of your poem. And then uh, the oh. day after, yeah, the day after, Tim's going to help you uh, video. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so hey, you're going to actually team. turn this poem into a uh, uh, a video performance. Uh, so cool. it doesn't just sit on the page, you're going to perform it as well. So today we're going to be using a poem written by Joseph Coilo, who uh, cool. is a very brilliant poet. And we're going to use... And a good friend poem. of ours. Yes, yeah. Um, who uh, we've worked with and uh, so we're going to look at one of his poems uh, so that we can be inspired to write our own. Let's have a look at this poem um, by Joseph uh, and I want you to just as you're listening uh, think about where his inspiration has come from, where he's uh, written uh, this poem about. Binley House from overheard in a tower block. TV aerials like dead branches. Satellite dishes like dead eyes, rusted but still they stared. It was a zombie of a block. The bin chute made the mouth of the block. Every day we fed it. Dinners left to go stone cold. Bags of clothes for missed fathers. Tissues soaked in tears. The cold whistle of wind from the corridors of Binley House became the block's hiss for more. The slam of distant doors from the homes within Binley House became the block's rumble of hunger. We fed the block our lives, the good times, the bad times, evenings spent with friends who lived above, below and side by side. Gazing at stars from five stories up, smelling the bins from five stories below. Overheard arguments, overheard laughter. We fed the block our lives as it swelled its monstrous city around us. Okay, so yeah, really great poem there. I think, um, yeah, well, what's your, what do you think of that, Tim? Uh, yeah, I was quite struck by it, actually. Um, you can tell he knows it really well because he's talking a lot about the details. So, you know, mm. he, you only really notice the TV aerials when you've lived in that place and you have really studied it. So, mm. yeah, the TV aerials like dead branches. That's a great simile there, isn't mm. it? Using yeah. like really made me understand yeah. it. Mm, uh, you wouldn't need bit... to have seen it, would you, to have, to have got that, really? Yeah. 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 So, um... You picked out there the kind of um, what one of those uh, similes that he's using, and I felt like he really focused on describing all mm -hmm. of those things that he saw, even though they were very normal things like TV aerials or you know, satellite dishes, um, or just the the tower block that he lived in itself. It was a very normal thing, but because he chose to look at it very closely and describe it, it then became a very powerful uh, poem. Um, yeah, so there's I like, think that there's, there's like there's like a mixture, isn't there? Of like there's a mix, there's a real mixture of looking at the stars and it being very beautiful from up high up, but also smelling the bins from below. So he's like saying how he liked some parts of living there, but 
obviously didn't like some others because while well, you're looking at the beauty of being a pie, you're also smelling mm. the horrible parts of down below. So he's, mm. he's quite mixed up, isn't he, in how he feels about Bintley House and mm. growing up there. Yeah. Yeah. So I, th- I think um, you know, we might feel similar to that about where we live. There might be bits that we like or, and there are bits that we definitely don't like. Um, and yeah. that's okay to write about those things in in poetry, isn't it? When we can express our feelings about different things, and so that's that leads into our challenge for today. Then, and it's not to um, it's not to start writing necessarily straight away, but it's to go and to look at where you live, uh, look at your environment, look at where you're from. And to just m- start making some notes about all of those those things. Your challenge for today is to to begin thinking about writing this poem, um, but it's going to be about where you're from and who you are. Uh, so I'll just note down some ideas there, and maybe Tim, you want to add it, anything to these? I just thought about your house, maybe the the food you eat, your family, the, what you like to do, what you celebrate. Uh, what's important to you, where you go, your favourite things. And all of those things can inform a kind of picture of your life, which is what your poem is going to be about. Yeah, maybe you could talk about like your pets as well, or the language that you speak, anything that makes you, you really, it's about your identity, isn't it? And, mm. you know, what, what, what are your senses as, as well saying, just like, you know, Joe was looking up the stars and smelling the bins so he could smell something. Mm. So, you know, yeah. what kind of things can you do you really notice in your in your house? Mm. Yeah, stinky, cysts, stinky small sisters, I think. Mm. I think that's a really good yeah. idea to use your different senses because it's I, I was then focusing on sort of looking around the house. But maybe you could just sit in your room and close your eyes and just listen to your house and yeah and then write down some words from what you hear in fact you could get down on your hands and legs couldn't you and close your eyes and Mm. just smell your way around the house just (laughs) smell your way you know uh, from a lower perspective just you know what does it what what does my house smell like if i'm by the carpet yeah you just Just don't open your eyes doing this (laughs) crawling around on the floor your mum's gonna be like what what are you doing you're like they, they told me to do it on the video. <laughs> oh. Well done, you've actually gone crazy. <laughs> Once you've written down your ideas, just basic, be right with Simon tomorrow, but then I'll be teaching you how to film them. So we really want you to share them with us as well, but you can share them any step of the way. So, sh- you know, share a photo of what you do today, share a photo of what you do tomorrow, and finally you can you know, send a film in of you reading out your, your poem to us on, Friday, um, on Thursday. Uh, and um, of course, um, same way as always, you can email your things to info at litfilmfest.com. You can tweet at litfilmfest or you can join the Facebook group and um, and you can uh, share it with everyone on there. Um, and of course, we'll try and get your work onto the video like these ones that we're going to look at now. So let's okay, have a just quick did. look. It's some more <laughs> aliens that have been sent in. Um, by um, Alex wow. and and a girl whose name we don't have, um, but I think they're brother and sister. <laughs> um, but this is based off uh, the she's work called girl <laughs> Ross Montgomery, um, and uh, I just thought they were excellent um, inspired examples of aliens that have been created. Uh, so we've got a really cute alien, and like we said, um, they've used some really good adjectives to describe, um, and I'm sure that those could then be used to form a proper description as well um, that's so yes. cool yeah they're very realistic aren't they both of them mm, yeah i really like this middle one with the giant eyes <laughs> very manga very quite cute. Cute. yeah and then you've got this kind of beautiful one over here um which is kind of like beautiful in a very striking way like a like a wasp yeah. almost isn't it yeah, yeah. like protective skin dragon head <laughs> yeah that's brilliant <laughs> and then beautiful wings <laughs> yeah it's like this, like us, Simon. What? Beautiful but deadly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, guys, for sending those in. We love seeing your work and everything that you do uh, in your home learning. Uh, so keep keep it coming. Um, 
we're going to keep going. Uh, we'll uh, see you tomorrow, or I'll see you tomorrow to help you with your uh, poem writing. Um, and you'll have to wait to see Tim until the day after. Uh, we'll yeah, have a line. That's it from us now. Uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Everyone. Bye.